Hi, this is Peter Pollock from peterpollock.com. Today, I want to give you a quick lesson, uh, start a lesson in modifying your WordPress blog using CSS. Now, all those things may sound incredibly scary to you. It's really not. It's very easy. What I want to do is to show you a tool which I use uh, to help me as I'm as I'm developing blogs, as I'm making changes, uh, so that I can see what what's going to happen. And, and really get a feel for what I want to do. Now I'm using a web browser called Google Chrome. If you don't already use it, you can download it at google.com slash chrome. Firefox also does this same thing. Uh, I just happen to be more familiar with Google Chrome. Now what I'm going to do is show you how to change some colors on this, this test blog that I've got here and uh, the size of the, the text here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to think, well, Let's see, as I'm developing this blog, I, I, I'm not sure about this, this header color, this red. So I'm going to experiment with changing it to some different colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in the area that I want to, to change, somewhere in there. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on Inspect Element. Now Inspect Element is going to open up this, this big display down the bottom, which is going to show me everything that I need to see about what information uh, on the left in the left box you got what information uh, is supposed to be displayed on the screen on the right box you've got your CSS rules which define how that information is displayed what size the text is what colors it is where on the page it is uh, and so we're going to use this now you'll see that as I hover over an area on the left hand side up at the top here, that area will be highlighted. So I, I hover over this H1 tag, which is the header tag, and it highlights the, the header text. I want to change the whole of the red text, so I want to find which one of these, these things on the left-hand side actually covers all of that. So I'll try the site title. It's not the site title. If I go to the header, then that shows where it says here, div header, that has now uh, covered up that whole block. It's, it's highlighted the whole thing. So that is going to be where I find my background color. So I'm going to click on that, and then it'll show me on the right the CSS rules for how that block is created. And it says it's got a margin of 20 pixels, which is this space at the top of the screen here. And it's got padding, uh, width of 1,000 pixels. And most importantly, there it's got our background. You see the, the color square here to show you what the color is you can see that the two of them match so that must be what it is now I want to change it let's say for instance I want to change it to blue and I think I'm feeling blue today so all I do is I, I double click on that text I, I overwrite it with whatever I want you can have the hex colors you can have RGB colors you can however you're comfortable with colors you can have them there CSS has a whole bunch of predefined named colors uh, red, blue, pink, chocolate, you know, all kinds of things. And I'm, I'm going to try blue today. I've typed it in. As soon as I press enter on my screen, that color changes. Now, nobody else on the internet can see it like this at the moment. This is simply uh, me modifying the way it is displayed on my screen. And this is this is the the bonus advantage of of what Google Chrome gives you. It actually allows you to see what the website is telling it to do on the screen and, and you can modify it so that you can really work out exactly how you want things. Now, let's let's say I'm happy with, with that blue up there. And then we're going to have a look down here. I think this text is a little small. So I'm going to right click on text, inspect element again. And you'll see down here, it is highlighted P for paragraph. And when I put my mouse over there, it highlights all the text that is in the is in the short post. And so I'm going to look over on the right, and it shows me here on the right that the font size is 13 pixels. So again, all I have to do, simply click on it, and I can edit it. Let's make it 16 pixels. And as I press enter now, you will see that the text will suddenly become bigger. Uh, just to really show you how that works, make it 26 pixels and it's become really big.
Let's move it back to 16. I think we like 16. So now we want to look, okay, we've we found what size we want the text. Now what good is that to us? Because as soon as we go off this page, it's going to disappear. This is only just for us viewing it. Well, over here in the uh, CSS rules section, it gives us a title for each section. It tells us over on the right hand side what the name of the CSS file is. In this case it's style.css and it gives us a title for the section within that CSS file which here is .post-contents. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to go into my dashboard, my WordPress blog, and I'm going to go into the appearance section here. Now at the bottom of the appearance section on the left is an editor. And if I click on editor, it will open up uh, the text editor, which allows you to edit any of the files here on the, on the right hand side that make up your website. And it automatically defaults to the style sheet, the CSS style sheet, which is called style.css, as we were told over here on the right. So now I'm looking at that. I'm going to do control F to bring up a find and paste in what it is that I want to find and as I paste it in it finds it in my style sheet and there it is you'll see if we just pop back here it is the post content section it says font size line height color and we come back here it's taken us to that post content system there section and the font size as it was 13 pixels so let's change that to our 16 pixels and as soon as we click on update file that will update your website for everybody to see so I, I click on the update file and that has now changed that so if I was to refresh that as you see when I refresh it it puts the header back to the original red because I had only changed it for that session on this screen it's not something that's really part of uh, the website yet but since I have edited the CSS file it has changed the text size and that's all there is to it anybody can do it it's very simple I I recommend using something like Google Chrome to to find out what it is that you need to change and and to experiment with changes let's just show you again how I did this right click on the area that I want to change something around there move around until I find the whole thing highlighted and then we see the color over here on the right hand side it's telling me the background is this this red color now what I what I see up here is that this section is called header so I'll copy that word and I'll come back to my CSS file do 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 in my in my blog admin area now I've I've searched for the the header as it says and it's come up with this thing that says header dash home now header dash home is not the same as header you need to be careful about this whatever text is written here that is the text that you're looking for in your CSS file so we go to our CSS file and I need to search for just that text nothing else extra added on so I'm gonna search again and here it is I move down I find the next place where it says header and it's got the margin 20 px the padding the float the width the background just the same as it is over here and all I need to do is change that number here to blue and update the file and now we can go back here I don't need this anymore uh, I just press F5 to refresh the page and there you have it. I have changed it. Everybody on the internet now sees that as blue and I can play around with any elements on the page that I want to play around with. Uh, it's best just to do it in your Chrome browser using the inspect element facility because then you can make your changes and it all just happens here on your local computer. It doesn't affect anything else and you can get it right and then go apply those changes to the to the real site. That's a simple introduction to CSS and Google Chrome. Thank you.